Hi, my name is George Garcia. This is Guided Tour of Eagle, video number 7, Routing Signals. So in this video, our aim is to show the basics of manual routing. So as you can see, there are these yellow wires connecting everything point to point. These are all the connections we defined in the schematic. Our goal is using the route command, which is this one here, to convert them into copper. So let's go ahead and just to do a simple example, we're going to separate one of these LEDs very nice and far away. Okay, and we click on the route command. We select the air wire we wish to route. In this case, this connection here. Okay, and you'll see that automatically all of the nets, all of the pads that connect to this net will highlight. We see that we have our our copper forming and as we move that air wire is going to jump to the nearest member okay so I'm going to go ahead and move it over here okay so as we get closer you'll see how it continues to adapt now the wire bend style we can change it by right clicking you'll see that we cycle through various wire bend styles the general recommendation is to stick to 45's um, in the worst case 90's you don't want to have traces going off in all sorts of odd angles. If you're prototyping, it's really not too critical. However, in high volume production, all of these odd angles can create problems with the etching process. So as a general rule or suggestion, it's considered best to go with 45 degree routes. Okay, so that's what I'm going to switch back to here. So you can see whenever we left click, we add another segment. Now let's say for whatever reason that we have a trace in the way and we want to transition to the bottom layer. Okay, the way we do this is by clicking our scroll wheel, you notice that the trace changes. Okay. The next time we left click to finish a segment, Eagle will automatically place a via at the point of transition. The parameters of that via as well as the width of this trace and any other parameter of the route is all adjusted here on the top toolbar. See we have the width of the route, the shape of the via, its diameter, its drill. Now let's say we want to use a round via. Okay. So the next time I left click, we'll see that the via gets automatically placed. Now because this pad is on top, at some point I need to transition back to the top. So again, we middle click uh, our scroll wheel. We're back on top and the next time I left click, he automatically places a via and I finish the, the trace. Okay, and you'll hear the buzzer sound. That means you completed a correct trace. So it's important always to route to the centers of pads and vias. Always finish your routes there. It's not enough to just touch the copper. So this has been Guided Tour of Eagle, video number seven, routing signals. Thank you very much and have a great day.